I'm back. Another live. Yes. And to absolutely answer your questions. Oh, I need to say it again. I'm back. Another live. And to answer your questions, I absolutely know that everybody in America is asleep right now. And this live seems like an exercise in futility, but it allows me to do this without having to upload so that Rhonda can pull the upload and then post it up. I'm just trying to save Rhonda a step, and also I kind of like lives. They're they're unfiltered. They're they're extemporaneous, and and I say it within my noggin. So yeah, it's alive. I want to put my elbows on the flat and round table because I want to talk about something important. I'm smiling now, right now, sure. But this is a big deal. Earlier this, I, I'm going to cue it up. Earlier uh, this week, I put out something, and I'm going to read it now, and we're going to talk about it more uh, when I do the longer video and when I write the essay supporting it, which um, is going to, as this video is, going to serve as an ask. I'm going to be doing asks a little bit differently. <sighs> you know, there are only so many ways I can shake you down for money. I mean, Daniel knows that, and... I checked out the saffron robes. They're really the wrong shade. You know, I like a bright yellow and I like a bright orange coral. But I don't really like saffron. It makes me turn green. So, um, <clears throat> no saffron robes, none of that. We are going to start talking to and in all candor, expecting more from those who say they stand with me. I want to talk about this. I'm going to talk about it in a bigger one later. But this hot take, I want to read you what I wrote. Um, and I'm going to read it again because I think it's important for as many people to hear it as possible. So let me read it real fast. We're going to break it down real fast and then I'm going to get out of Dodge on this one because I've got about four more to do. In case you're wondering, uh, for those who keep track, um, whoever can figure out what I changed from this Lace on Race Live, from the last Lace on Race Live, will get a set of note cards. <laughs> because I did. I changed something. You have to figure out what. It's the little thing that I do that makes it look like I'm actually doing different videos on different days when I'm actually sitting right here going over and over and over. But anyway, let me read you this. Um, and I'm going to get a little serious. My, my, uh, my smile is going to dim a little bit because this is serious stuff. There was a meme that came up. Uh, why does Facebook hate me as much as it does? Um, there we go. If it helps, not necessarily a fan of you either, Facebook. Um, let me keep going. There we go. Uh, see all posts. I should have had this queued up for you. This, this is why I am not a major heavy hitter. Oh my goodness. If I was a major heavy hitter, I would have an assistant right over here who had it queued up for me and and after that would peel my grapes i do not have either of those things here's the meme the meme that that spurred me writing what i wrote was this the problem isn't your friends not showing up for you the real issue is that you keep calling them your friends i'm not i'm going to read what i wrote when was it three days ago uh, without commentary and then I'll talk about it in a minute. This is what I wrote. More on this later. That's true. My mother is dead, but I am quite alive. Time for changes. Time for clear, uncompromising eyes. Time, after fully a year and a half, to call a thing a thing. Daniel's right, y'all. I don't have 10,000 followers, and I surely don't have 700 friends. I want, need, and deserve people who will walk with me reliably and with Hesed, and will allow me to do the same with them. It's time to tell the brutal truth. There are some of you who have called me a sociopathic, narcissistic, charlatan cult leader who are absolutely incredibly still 
in my friends list on my personal page. Still one of over a thousand followers on my personal page who think that they can get the benefits of Lace on Race without any responsibility or accountability. Let's just call a thing a thing. And most incredibly, who are still in the stands here in the Coliseum of Lace on Race. And there are scores more who were silent when they did. That hurts still worse. Seriously, dear Lord, why? Why would you even want to be in either of my spaces, here at Lace on Race or on my personal page, if you think so little of me or of my character, my ethos, or my praxis? I neither have nor do I need 700 friends. I neither have nor need 1,000 followers. I neither have nor need 10,000 followers here at Laysan Race. I need people who are willing to go the distance with me, who are willing to hold and to be held well, who know what faithfulness and reliability look like who can, and crucially, who will walk with me as a friend, mentor, mentee, spiritual sister, companion, compatriot, and co-conspirator. Bobby is dead. I am not. The rest of my life, for however long, 30 years, 30 months, three weeks, three days, will be in service to her teaching, example, and legacy. That means acknowledging those of you in the stands at the Coliseum as exactly who you have been, as described above, and acting accordingly. You all have no idea. You have no idea how much the last 15 months have scarred my soul. No more. If, after reading this or hearing this, and all the chaff is blown away, if all I have as friends or followers are those who can fit into my five-seater Santa Fe with Julie strapped on the top, so be it. Because I can work with that. I can work with that. Yeah, I want more. But I don't want spectators in the stands. I've said it in various ways for the last 15 months, as softly as I can, but now I'll say it. If all you're doing is being here, either as a spectator or as an actual antagonist and foe, well, I hope I showed you something, if nothing else. I hope I gave you um, reasons to laugh at my various wigs. Find another place to be. Find another place to be. I will miss you. And yeah, I want as many people to hear what I have to say, inculcate it and live it out as possible, but most of you don't do that. And you have no idea how much it hurts me to see those mocking numbers, knowing that it is a mere fraction of people who actually want to walk with me, live out an authentic praxis, and those of you who are willing to support the work to make sure that we stick around. And 9,900 of you say no. Let's call a thing a thing, y'all. I don't want you to go, but if you do, it'll be a lot better than looking at lying numbers and silent spectators. And of course, far better than looking up in the stands at those who have contempt and animus for me, my work, and the community that I serve. Bobby is dead, but she lives 
in me. Time for truth. The reset starts now. By that last line, the reset starts now. I've talked about that a few times. But we are going to act as if we are starting from scratch. We are going to act as if it is January 21st, 2018, when I press the excuse me, when I press the button and started Lace on Race. I'm going to assume that the numbers are a lie and I'm starting with zero. With absolutely zero. If you want to stand with me, because yeah, I, I would like more than would fit in the Santa Fe. I'd like to be able to at least, you know, rent one of those stretch vans. I want to be able to stick around and I want to be able to look at people and write to people who are willing to walk with me in a way that matters in order to truly lessen and mitigate the harm endured by black and brown people perpetuated by white people and white supremacy. And if you are silent and if you are antagonist, all 10,000, 11,000 really, if you count the Facebook followers, on my personal page, stop lying. Stop lying to me. Stop lying to yourself. I hope you find other places because we are not the only game in town. I hope that if I have not been compelling enough for you to live a life of meaning and intention in the racial justice space with me, that you find it somewhere else. There are thousands, millions on the interwebs other than me. I've said this before. I've said this to everybody who left and that Daniel, it's like everybody left quietly. There weren't that many people who left. Actually, we have more eyeballs than we did 15 months ago. I don't care about eyeballs. I don't care about eyeballs. In case you missed it, I don't care about eyeballs. I care about people who are willing to move the needle for social justice, who believe in my method, who believe in my praxis, who believe in my teaching, who believe in my heart, and who believe in my character. If you're one of them, stick around. I, I will happily um, purchase more sand face. <laughs> but if you aren't, if after 15 months, five years really, almost five years, if you're not sure, <laughs> then I'm probably not going to convince you. It's a fool's errand to try, right? Yes, it hurts me deeply that most of the people who call myself my friends on my Facebook pages do not interact here. It hurts me that there are followers who want all the benefits of Lace on Race without any of the responsibilities. I told you I was going to be candid. And it deeply hurts that there are almost 10,000 of you at Lace on Race who, if you are silent spectators, are not doing the work as prescribed. You are out of ethos. You are out of the guidelines. Then this is an opt-in, opt-out space. I'm never going to ban or block anyone, either on my personal page or on Lace on Race, but you need to tell yourself the truth. Confront yourself. You don't have to talk to me. Very few people did 15 months ago. Almost none of you asked how I was doing. <laughs> But I'm called to do this work and I'm going to be here, but I need to be speaking to people who look me in the eye and are ready to go the distance with courage, heart, relentless reliability, and hesed heart. I do not need bench warmers. I need people down in the scrum with me. I hope out of 11,000 of you at this point that there are 400 of you, in all honesty, Four, and I'll talk about it later. 400 of you, a fraction. Barely 5% of you who will say yes to this, who will keep us sustainable, who will do the work with enough of a critical mass so that we can do the things we say we want to do. Not just monetary, but certainly monetary. Fellowships, scholarships, sabbaticals, the mental and emotional health fund. Well, you know, um, you don't get to do this stuff on good intentions and bubblegum. But also, groups, Lace on Race Lives, abiding with more people, including, especially, pro bono, who can't pay the center and who relies on you to pay it forward. Small groups and institutions who can't afford us.
I believe in the crappy model that we use, which is the community holds itself well. That includes paying its executive director. That includes all the things that we want to do outside. Our budget is modest, incredibly modest. It's about $100,000 a year. That pays for everything. If I, if we decided to go super grandiose and added another community partner to bring us back up to level and um, hired a part-time assistant here so that I could do even more speaking and writing and engaging and abiding, uh, it would be about eleven to 12000 a year. So we are looking at for um, an organization that does as much as we do a laughably small amount of money. I make a little under $50,000 a year. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but hey, I do. My health insurance is indeed paid. That is approximately a third of what the average executive director with my responsibilities, chief content creator, presenter, um, coach, counselor, the whole nine yards would get doing the work that I do. I count it all joy. But yeah, I need you. This is indeed an ask. It is also a manifesto, as it should be. I shouldn't be coming to you hat in hand begging. I should be acknowledging, hey, you believe in this, I believe in you, you believe in me, this, we could do this all day. You support this because you want it to keep going and more importantly, because you want to lessen and mitigate harm and you believe that our ethos, our praxis, our premise, our North Star and our methodology is not the only way, but certainly a good and a sound and an effective way to live out values that you yourself hold or you wouldn't be here. I love you all. And I love you enough to be tough with you. I don't have 10,000 followers. I don't have 700 friends. But I want authentic friends. I want people who are authentically shoulder to shoulder with me. The people who we say we stand with and for deserve no less. And the grandiose cult leader will say with absolute clarity, I do too. I love you. More later.